So I'm just popping on quickly to say hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever the time is. I hope you're all well. I've got another video this week. I've just been filming clips here and there. So yeah, here's some bits of my weeks, definitely highlights of my weeks. a notepad from Paul West which was one of the black owned businesses I mentioned in my vlog last week the packaging is so good guys it's all card and paper so it's zero waste and you can see even the tape is like a paper on the back so we're gonna open it I want to use this to start journaling more like I dip in and out of journaling in the morning but I feel like I just need to like dedicate myself to it oh that's nice gorgeous rustic orange they have different colors so these are made um i think entirely out of recycled paper but the whole concept behind um making these notepads was to explore how you can use paper sustainably um and the dyes are vegan and cruelty free and you can get the different you can get the notepads with lines or dots like a bullet journal i went for the plain one because the notepad i've been using for the last like year and a half it has plain paper what i like about it is you can do drawings you can write you can like just really have free space to do whatever you want without something in the background but they have got lined options as well i'll put a link for um this business in the stationery in the description box but it looks really nice it's lightweight it's not too big a5 can't go wrong also this came super quickly i ordered it on the 29th of july and it's the wait no not that, that makes no sense i ordered it on the 29th of june and it's now the 1st of july so super quick literally two days and it already arrived Yesterday, Alan and I went to the farmer's market, which is where the last few weeks we've been getting our fruit and vegetables there. Um, they've like set it all up so that it's got like a one-way system and they've just made it so that it's like you don't feel like you can kind of relax when you go there rather than worrying about COVID, which I think has helped us going there. 
but um, we've been enjoying the farmers market because it's much better priced than the supermarkets and it also means you can get a lot of like fruit and vegetables without plastic on them and you're shopping directly from the farmer which is really good as well so we've been trying to do that whilst the weather's been good but what we noticed is next door to the farmers market there was an outdoor market which we've never seen before so we kind of just scrolled, uh, strolled through and I found this I was not expecting to shop. I think earlier that morning I'd been telling Alan why I hadn't been shopping. And then I ended up finding this. Isn't this so chic? It's like a proper like old lady clasp bag. It really reminded me of the Celine um, clasp bag. You can see the handle is a little bit squished. It just needs to kind of be made upright again. And I'm pretty sure it's real leather because you can smell it, the leather on it. Um, it was £10 and apparently it was picked up from like an old lady's house the man who was selling them got loads of her handbags and was selling them but for 10 pounds and it's real leather compared to the celine version which i've always admired i thought this was a great deal for like when you're feeling like you know like a really chic outfit um i'll show you guys inside it's really cool it's got i feel like there's like so many things in here which feel like i don't know it's got a story behind it which excites me can you guys see this you can see the condition it is in, it's really good. Like the corners are in good condition. I think even going over this with some like leather polish or something would be nice. So it just clasps open like this. And I feel like before I would have been a bit like, hmm, about having someone else's handbag who I think sometimes with vintage, you don't really know what the story is, but just from what the man was saying, I think this old lady died and so they're selling her things. But, I don't know, it doesn't really seem to bother me anymore. I just feel like I'm looking after this lady's bag for her. But what I found so interesting is inside, I don't think I'll keep these. Um, I might drop these off at a charity shop or something. But there were these two little coin purses. I think this one typically comes with the bag. I've had a look online. The bag is um, called a Riviera bag made in England. And I saw one that's being sold on eBay for £35. I got it for a tenner. But if you really like it, have a look on eBay because you never know what you might find. Um, and then there's tissue in here. I haven't cleaned the inside yet, so I need to go through and give it a good clean. But I wanted to show you guys the things I found in here. One of them was a mirror. You can see how aged the package is. Now, I will say with my superstition, it does go far enough to not want to look in her mirror. I feel like this mirror was for her. So again, that's something that I probably won't keep myself. Um, and then I also found here... Um, there were two tickets to the opera which the crazy thing about this guys you can see they're quite aged they're from 1974 so what I can't work out is has this lady not used her bag since then but then it doesn't look old enough like it looks like it's in good enough condition that it's been used did she just maybe she kept these tickets because it was a really special memory or when they were clearing out her things, did they just pick these up from somewhere else and put them in this bag? I'm not sure. The way, the way the mystery with this kind of is, is because there's something else in here which looks much newer. This doesn't look like it's barely aged at all. It's on white card. And this is an invitation to someone's 80th birthday party. I think what confuses me is that this looks brand new and these look old. So I'm not really sure what the history of that is. Um, another thing just to mention on these tickets, which is crazy, so because it's for the Royal Opera House in Covent Garden, and the ticket was £3.40, can you see that here? It's just so interesting, I also really felt tempted to kind of like be a detective and use this inv invitation to start, you know, calling around and finding out more about the lady who owned this bag. I'm not going to do that, but I just feel like if this was a TV show, wouldn't that be a cool TV show? Like, find a vintage item or belonging of someone and then use clues from that item to find out about their life. I feel like that would be such a good TV show. So those are the bits I found in there. And I've not had a look much further in. I mean, there is, like, a wipe in there. Like, I don't know. I'm going to show you guys. I'm just going to wash my hands afterwards. I, I need to sort out the inside of the bag. But it's kind of like... This is a German, it's very dirty, but it's like a German wipe, like a hand wipe or something. It looks old, it looks dirty, so maybe was this woman German? I'm not sure. And then there's just a lot of tissue paper in here. So the inside needs a clean. You can see even my hands since touching it, I'm a bit like, oh, it needs a clean. But I think the quality of it is beautiful. I love the clasp and I really love the details here as well. I think for £10, 
And it really does smell like leather. I mean, you can't go wrong with that, you know? And it's just really chic. I was trying it on yesterday with some outfits. And I really like it. Just, if you have any tips of how I can kind of retrain the handle to be upright, let me know. But I mean, when I'm wearing it or holding it, there's no problems. But I just wanted to show you guys this little purchase because I thought it was really special and just something, I think sometimes the best items we buy are the ones we're not even really looking for. Just about to do some editing and I found these pictures from before me and Alan were about to get married. I quite like this one. I might post that on my Instagram. Look at us. Before getting married. That was after we were married. This is my mum's bear, just for context. <laughs> it gave me a lot of comfort that day. You guys, this book is so good. I'm only on page 20. I'm dyslexic, so I'm a very, very, very slow reader. Um, well, I'm on page 21. I'm a very slow reader. Um, and I haven't read an actual like hard copy of a book for a really long time. When my mum died, I got a book called When Parents Die, like a physical book. And that was in, when did I get that book? Like, maybe it was in January. Um, but after like five pages of that book, maybe like 10 pages of that book, I just stopped reading it. It was too early for me to read that book. And um, before that, I probably haven't read, read a hard copy book for a very long time. Just being dyslexic, those of you that are dyslexic that will know, like the words can just jump around. It makes me feel quite seasick, but I've ordered myself a um, overlay on Amazon, which maybe if it arrives, I'll show you guys next week. Um, but that just helps with the jumping words. Anyway, I'm getting off track. I thought to myself, you know what, I've not read a physical book, and especially fiction in such a long time, I'll give it a go. Queenie's been on my to-read list for ages. Normally I do Audible, but I just really liked the idea of just being able to take my book with me and just getting lost in it. Whereas with an Audible, that's better for like if you're walking or cleaning, because you can do something whilst listening to it. Um, like I said, this has been on my list of books I want to read for a really long time, probably since like 2018. It must be 2018 um, when I first saw this title and heard really good things about it. But you know when you just never get around to something? But I saw um, Sasha from uh, Sasha Moment on Instagram is her username. I'll put her in the description box below and I actually want to talk about her a bit more um, in a bit. But um, her Instagram is great, honestly her style is impeccable. And she posted that she got this book and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna go get it. So I've been fully influenced to just take that leap. And honestly, whether you enjoy reading, find it hard or whatever, that you feel like me and it's something that just makes you feel seasick, just go for it, just try it. I'm taking it really slow so that to avoid getting seasick. Um, but it's such good escapism, it's really easy to read. And it, I think it kind of goes back and forth between like, past and present I mean I'm only 20 pages in so I can't tell exactly but some things will be kind of like a memory and then she'll be back in the present moment I really like how it's been written it's really easy to, to read like I said and really interesting to read because it goes to the memories and then back into the present moment and I think just for like millennial women this is a great one also I have another book recommendation um, I'm hoping you guys can hear me because I am kind of near a road and that is I Am Not Your Baby Mother by Candace Brathway. I'm just going to tap that. So, yep, I finished it now. This I listened to probably within like a week and a half. Just, I mean, obviously it takes longer to listen to an audible when we're not commuting right now. It was so good. It was moving. It made you laugh. It made you cry. When she was talking about, you know, her dad passing, that was like really intense to listen to and then also just hearing her experience of her own daughter like putting her daughter into school and moving her daughter to schools like all these things that we just you know for myself as a white woman I don't think about and I think this is a very eye-opening book it can goes into her experience of what it's like to be a black mother in London specifically and the UK because she does move out of London eventually and honestly it's moving it's gripping 
it gives you it gives you everything and it opens your eyes so much so i would 100 percent recommend this queenie i'm only on page 20 i'm not your baby mother i finished incredible incredible books and i cannot wait for candace to reveal she's going to do another book i really hope that is one day in the near future if it's in a year i'll wait i'll be patient but I would 100% read all of Candace's books. Honestly, it's so good. So whilst I'm here sharing things, I thought I would share this podcast. Again, just something really good to listen to if you're on a walk or, um, you know, cleaning or whatever you're doing. Um, at home with Lily and Anna, like they make me giggle. I, it feels like you're listening to chat with your friends. And this episode is their latest episode. It's on, it's motherhood unfiltered. And basically there's like questions that Anna's asking Lily about like giving birth and when she knew she wanted to have a baby. And just listening to like the completely unfiltered answers and them laughing about it. Like when I was on my walk this morning listening to this, it really did give me a giggle. I just want to pop in here quickly and talk a little bit about Sasha moment or Sasha from Instagram. I found her recently and I just have to share her with you guys because her style is like like every picture she posts I'm just I want to recreate her outfits and like lately I've been going through a phase with my style where firstly I didn't know what my style was but now I've realized it's basically like a mix of like what would you wear if pajamas were outdoors <laughs> like if you guys could see what I'm wearing today look I've got on these this is like a onesie you can see and then I've just got this loose striped top on so definitely not what my style is right now something i can aspire for the future when i start feeling like myself again and just start feeling like i want to get dressed up again because at the moment i just want to be cozy and comfy but i just love seeing her outfits and she also did a blog post this week called um hold on let me get my phone because i want to get it right so the blog post is called in a world without you mum i'm going to put it in the description box i'm going to put sasha's instagram but also a link specifically to this blog post in the description box every word touched me like i had it's sometimes you read things about like people who have experienced loss or grief and like you can relate to it and sometimes you read something and it's like being thudded like her paragraphs about kind of like putting on a face to people you know and then that one really related to, I could really relate to that but also just walking around with like the pain like the pain doesn't I mean I'm only what like seven eight months in the pain just doesn't go away like I feel like I need to accept that I'm just gonna live in pain and like everyone's experience is different so if you've not had that experience or you found that it's faded like I don't know for me I don't know if it's helpful for me to hear that like I just can only speak from my experience and my truth but it's different for everyone it may feel completely different for you if you're going through that or if you go through it or if you've been through it but just being able to read Sasha's words and really feel them I'm going to put her um, blog post in the description like I said I just think it's really worth a read whether you've lost someone or not like it's a very powerful read and I thought it definitely deserved talking about okay well I hope you enjoyed this video I may see you again next week, we'll see. I've been filming some clips, so we'll see what I can get together. And yeah, maybe see you next week, guys. I hope you're all well. Um, and I don't really know what else to say. Sometimes I just feel like I just get chatty and sometimes I then go off. I think I've just had a chatty moment and now I have no idea what to say, but there we go. Have a good evening and I'll see you soon, bye.